afternoon. It's just past 12 o'clock in the afternoon for me. Um, I'm going to do a little, um, I, if you remember when I was in my last video, I was um, uh, priming these boards. So I'm going to use this one now and I'm going to do a, um, what's called an open cup, I guess, using a cookie cutter. Um, I'm going to try to get some cells and I'm going to move it just across there. I'll blow dry it a little bit just to spread it and then I'll probably roll it around a little bit and see what I get. Um, heat gun should bring up the cells, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going with a black <laughs> I'm going with a black background and I have uh, some nice colours. I have cerulean uh, blue hue. I have um, what's this one? Windsor Violet, I have uh, Lemon Yellow, Primary Blue, and Primary Red. And they're mixed with uh, some Floetrol and a little bit of water, just to get a nice consistency. The consistency looks like this. So just to show you. Okay, so it literally runs, but not, um, it still drips, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not completely fluid, you know what I mean? Okay, so, I'm going to get just straight started, just get straight to it. Okay, so let's go. So the black, I'm going to cover the whole thing in black first. Um, it's a lovely shine on this black here. I think this is the Mars black I had um, that I just, uh, I diluted it a little bit, but uh, not too much. So I'm not actually sure how well the um, other paints will move on it because uh, I've been used to using um, a masonry uh, house paint that I use for my backgrounds. It's still uh, acrylic, uh, but it's... Um... Okay, it's still acrylic, but it just it's a little bit uh, easier to, to move around the board like that. Let me just go to that corner a little bit again, now that I've... Um... Helped it to flow. Okay, I'm quite excited to do this. So um, I've been looking forward to it. So it's a beautiful black shiny background. I don't see any air bubbles, but I will investigate that now momentarily. Let me just clean this off my hands. Okay. It's uh, it looks super shiny. It doesn't. Uh, I don't see any air bubbles at all. It's it's been sitting around for quite a while. Um, maybe a couple of weeks even, and um, I'd say any air bubbles that might have been in it have found their own way out. Yeah, I'm not seeing a single one pop. So that's good, isn't it? It's so nice when it happens. Okay, so let's get straight to it. So let's put our cookie cutter down. Um, I'm going to layer the paints. I'm just going to leave these sticks to the side. The paint is all freshly mixed. There's no need for further mixing. Um, and I just have to have a quick think about what order I would like to do it in. So I'm thinking I'll go um, my violet, Windsor Violet first. And I'll just, um, I'll go the, uh, this is the Cerulean Blue, I think. I can't, I can't actually tell, just at a glance. I think that's the cerulean blue hue. And I've got my primary blue. I've got... Um, I'll put the yellow next, I think. Okay, and I've got my primary red. Um, I actually intended to put some silicone in this, but I forgot. So what do I do? Do I abandon and start again? Or yes, that's probably the smart thing to do. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to catch that paint. I'm going to take it straight to the edge and drop it down into that cup. Okay, so that it's not wasted. Um, I'll just put that aside for use on something else. I'm just going to top up my... Oh, that's, it's a beautiful colour, so the colour scheme is going to work. Um, 
let's go just put the black down here again okay Okay, and I'm going to go and add that uh, silicone and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, we're all fixed. <laughs> Here we go. So I've only put um, silicone into two colors, into the uh, Windsor Violet and the Primary Yellow. So I'll start again with my Violet. I'll walk up the colors with the, uh, I might put a little drop more of that. It's a nice color, isn't it? Um, I'll start with the blue, the cerulean blue hue. Um, primary blue. I think I might have got those colors back to front when I said them. That's okay. And I'm going to go with... Um, what color will I go yellow next and then red I think so these this one has some of that um, silicone in it okay and a bit of the primary red just to top it up okay and we are now this time <laughs> all set so let's see how we go moment of truth and here we go and all i'm going to do is uh, move it across like i said across here keeping it as close to the surface of the paint so the the paint will feed out but it'll feed out slowly Okay, look at that. Look at that. Now, <laughs> I was going to hit that with the hairdryer. Do I still hit it with the hairdryer or do I have a bit of fun? I think I do. I think I follow the plot. Oh, look at those lovely cells. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just. Uh... Hmm. Not immediately. I'm gonna just try and move it around a little bit and see what see what happens. Just to stretch it. It's pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna actually just put some more black down now to try and encourage um, a little bit of flow. I want it to move quite easily, if I can. Okay, let's see what happens. It's so pretty, let's go. Just gently. Little by little. I'm not finished with this. I mean, I'm going to play around with it a little bit because there's something here that I'm, I'm curious to play with. Okay. And down. Oh, I'd like that to go all the way over a little bit at the back there. Yeah. 
This is just beautiful. The color combination is just uh, stunning. Now, let me just see about it that way. And down again. No, not so much, please. I'm just trying to stretch these out at the bottom there a little bit. Um, I don't have a whole lot of work I need to do on this, but it's just, um, I'd like it to just stretch out a little bit. Maybe I'll use my straw a little bit on it and see if I get any um, crisp tissue. See if I can get this uh, shape of this to change slightly for me. Okay, I've got a, my jumpers. Uh, Yeah, that's better. Hang on. Okay. I have very little I want to do here. There's just a small twink. Okay, now let's play and have some fun. Uh, I need a clean stick, if I can find one, there's one. Um, okay. This is kind of awesome. I'm just trying to follow the natural um, uh, gradients within the cells there. Um, actually, I should have hit the thing with the heat gun just in case there's any, in case there's any um, air bubbles just while it's nice and wet. You know? okay, now I'll carry on with my tweaking. My little tweaking. Yeah, I love that. I, I just love that. That just feeds it nicely down, doesn't it? It gives it that little bit of almost like um, some sort of an underwater sea creature-y kind of thing. It looks brilliant and it's got its little mouth here, the head and the body and those beautiful violet blue hues just mixing so beautifully. I'm so impressed. Um, this is one of the joys of this um, art form, is the surprises, the, the gifts that you can get from it in unexpectedly. Um, just completely unexpected, you're never 100% sure, no matter how hard you try to repeat something, it's, it just doesn't come out exactly the same, very unusual. Unless you're like someone like, um, I suppose, Olga Sabi, I've seen her <laughs> repeat paintings where she moves them to a bigger canvas and gets pretty much an identical result. I don't know how, but she's great. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Um, this is so lovely. It's so lovely. 
I'm so impressed with it. Okay, and I'm, I'm going full on for the um, deep ocean uh, creature at this stage. So I'm literally giving it all these little tentacly kind of um, just feelers or just tiny things coming off it. Um, and it's, it's just adding that lovely dimension that uh, it didn't have. And it's these subtle tweaks that give uh, people's art and mine in this case, uh, their little bit of individuality and just make the painting a little bit different to someone else's. Um, and hopefully, I don't even know how to do this bit. I'll just tweak it down there, I think. And hopefully, um, just give it that unique, um, different kind of uh, look that you could look at it and go, maybe Obscurity Art did that one or something. You know what I mean? You might be able to tell. It's much like um, in the karate that I do and stuff. Um, when you get uh, people to come in from different clubs and things to join you, um, they'll move in a certain way that might be slightly different to um, to you or me or whatever. Um, and you can nearly tell who their teacher was. It's not that it's wrong, it's just different. You know what I mean? And um, you can really tell who showed them based on uh, the dynamics, uh, the different timings, uh, the rotations, the backup mass, all how they approach their martial art. And um, it's very interesting to see it sometimes and to uh, learn from someone, someone else from a different area because they might be able to uh, share some of that with you and you might be able to use some of it to make your own um, skills uh, that little bit sharper or different or better. And it's kind of cool. And in the same way, kind of, it's just another art form, isn't it? Um, this is um, completely different to the martial arts, but it's uh, also individual and personal and cool. Let's be honest. Who doesn't want to do this? This is great fun. It's just, it's a blast. When you get a nice result like this, and this is... Uh, gonna get an epoxy I already know I'm gonna uh, resin it it's beautiful and it's completely deserving of it um, I hope you like it um, it's let me know what you think of it because um, can't be just me is it this is this is just stunning I can't wait to bring you around the other side so you can see what I'm seeing um, but I just got to finish the tweaking first because while it's all loose and wet and free moving, now is the time. Now is the moment. Just like that. Yeah. It is so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna drag these out a little bit as well because I think it should be. Just subtle, subtle. Let me just keep my stick fresh. But you'd be gas. Imagine if I didn't have me, I forgot to press record. I've done that a few times. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've pressed record and I go ahead and I'm uh, making a video, chatting away and uh, it just, um, I know I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so I am done with that section. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to um, just take a little look again. Um, I might just lift it and just let it... Uh, adjust slightly, but nothing of any significance now. I just want to see. I want very little movement now at this stage. I'm watching so carefully because I'm being really careful not to spoil it now at this stage, you know what I mean? So there, the movements are so subtle. And the reason I'm doing that is just those lines I've drawn are tweaked with 
um, all I'm doing is trying to give them a more a less uh, obvious interfered with kind of look and it only takes uh, the slightest adjustment just to make them look natural. Oh, the cells on this, this is so cool. Um, it's very, very different to anything I've seen. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show you now. I'm not doing any more with that. Um, good or bad, it's done. <laughs> I just love these purples. I hope you can see this on this video. I'll try it with my phone as well, just to see, make sure I get a good phone. So let's have a look. Oh, we're only 15 minutes in, look at that. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to come up the side of it. I want you to see um, those beautiful hues of the violet mixing with the blue, the cells, the yellow. Oh, it's stunning. Look at the colors. Okay. And, up, and if you take it that this is the head of the, the sea creature, um, probably a blind sea creature. It's living at the bottom of the ocean in the dark, you know, just glowing down there with its just neon glowiness <laughs> neon glowiness okay here we go let me pull out there there you go you get a good look at it now and because it's actually daytime uh you don't get that light shining on it tonight today so there we go isn't that beautiful I'm just going to do the same with my phone and uh, we'll see what um, the difference in the camera looks like. I hope you like this. Um, if you want to show me some support, you can hit subscribe, you can hit like. Um, leave me a comment. What do you think it looks like? Uh, I'm always interested to know, so uh, let me know. Do you agree? Do you think it looks like a deep sea creature that just uh, hasn't been found yet? <laughs> let me know. Um, really cool. I'm really happy with this. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to just, uh, there will be an extra little bit of footage because I'm going to get my phone um, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Look at those lovely colours, they blended so beautifully. And up the body of the creature here, up to the neck, and then a spacey head. It's like a little galaxy inside its head, isn't it? It's beautiful, and there's its little mouth. And now I'm just gonna give you the full the full picture. It's mad looking. I think it's great. I hope you like it. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.